Hi there and welcome. As you can see I received a lot of PCBs from a factory in China. And uh, most of them I have talked about in the YouTube videos that I've been doing, uh, but some I haven't. For instance this one is uh, the indoor unit PCB for my uh, antenna rotor. Uh, here I have some uh, uh, PROM programmers. This is for a project that I'll be doing later and uh, I'll be talk talking about that in more detail. Then we have some uh, GPIB bus interface. Uh, I have a video about that, or a series of videos about that. Uh, so we'll talk about that later. Um, down here I have an RF uh, receiver um, with a graphics display on the back, which might be of interest and uh, that'll be talked about uh, and I'll be talking about later. Here I have an RF transmitter um, that I will also be talking about. Uh, actually this is transmitting data to this one over here, so that could be quite an interesting little video. Uh, down here I have a handheld uh, device with a little uh, color screen. I can't talk about that right now, but um, maybe in a future video. This one here is an uh, EEPROM emulator. Uh, people who are old enough will remember that uh, to program EEPROMs you would first hand compile your assembly code and uh, then program it in into an EEPROM and uh, if there's some problem with the code you have to erase the EEPROM using ultraviolet light and uh, then fix the bug and program another one so um, one uh, program cycle could take half an hour or something like that and it was very very, very tedious um, but there are some people who came up with uh, something like this EEPROM emulator you have a cable going here from one of these connectors into the socket where the EEPROM is supposed to be and uh, then you would download your code into a RAM here and uh, then that would emulate the EEPROM. So if something didn't work you could uh, recompile, program the, e the, the RAM and uh, run the machine again. And, uh, and you could do that until uh, your software has been debugged and running. So I've done an EEPROM emulator. Uh, it's not very high tech or fancy these days uh, with microcontrollers and stuff like that. But uh, I'm still uh, playing around with old micro uh, computers, as you know, and uh, I thought that would be uh, interesting to do this. This one is based on an ISA bus design I uh, did in the, I think, early 80s, maybe middle 80s. But this one here has a USB interface so that it uh, can work on a modern day PC. If there's interest, I will talk about that in uh, more detail in another video. Um, but yeah, um, then I have in this bag here, I have all the little pods. The cable from here goes into a pod and then into the, uh, the board itself uh, that you are developing software from. And they're based on little res resistor, uh, zero ohm resistors on this board. This, uh, this, this one here can emulate um, all the way from 2K, uh, 2716, 2K by 8 EEPROMs up to uh, 512 kilobit EEPROMs. Um, here I have the unit, the outdoor unit or the attic unit for my um, antenna rotor. And uh, what else? I have a couple of other PCs, PCBs that I cannot mention in this video here. And uh, you can see here I have uh, mounted components on, on some of these and uh, I have not had many footprint issues. This is my uh, PROM programmer. The ZIF socket that I bought from China uh, actually broke during shipping so I ordered a new one. And uh, here's my EEPROM emulator. I need these uh, connectors here uh, before they're done. And this one was my RF transmitter. It has a modem and uh, and putting RF out here uh, just a little test transmitter and uh, here's my RF receiver uh, I've been working on that for a bit and um, I'm still missing some uh, trimmer coils here and the BNC uh, jack down here uh, but uh, the basic thing is I can uh, transmit digital data from USB coming in here transmit that over the air to this box here and display it on the screen uh, over here. This board has a component uh, pinout problem. This one should not have been a DIB 8. 
uh, is not available from DigiKey for some reason, this particular package. So I gotta change that to SOIC something uh, later on. But uh, yeah, that's it for uh, my PCB video. Um, thank you for watching and uh, see you again real soon.